Welcome everyone. I'm Paul Herman with CCLI. Here today with recording artist and worship leader and songwriter, Jonathan McReynolds. Jonathan, great to have you here. Oh, great to be here. Appreciate it, man. First, I wanted to just say it was a wonderful worship set this morning. Thank, thank you. you. Thank, thank you, you for leading us. That was powerful. It was, it was, I, I enjoyed it myself. So well, and you. the one thing I noticed is sometimes, like you said, you, need, you like to sit on a single line for a while. Yeah. Talk about that. You know, you know sometimes while you're singing a song, uh, you become very, uh, all of a sudden, very mindful of one line. You know, you know, we pack a lot of great lines, yeah. a lot of meaningful things, uh, but sometimes you just get to something, maybe uh, based on what you've dealt with in the past couple of days, mm -hmm. just like, wow, man, this is yeah. powerful. This, this, you know, I think I sang uh, Shout to the Lord today, right. which is, you know, classic, yes. you know, hill song. Everybody back knows in the day. it. Everybody knows it. And I don't, I honestly, you know, the type of music that I make, I don't get to sing that song very often right. at all, yeah. you know. Mm -hmm. So, I, you know, this is my opportunity mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. sing one of my favorite songs growing up. Yeah. And uh, just listening to some of the words in there, mm -hmm. you know, we, we want to get to the end of the song. But yeah. today it was Forever I Love You. Yeah. Forever. You kept us for a while. It's just right there. I, love you. Yeah. I, I hope I didn't bore you. Not but at no, all. It's just, it was powerful. It was, you know, it's just something about that line today. It's just Forever I Love You. I think a lot of things are competing for our love. Uh, a lot of things change and shift around us regardless of that. Uh, I want my love to be as unconditional as his. Yeah, nice. Yeah. Well, I first saw you on the video for the Stellar performance last year okay. with uh, Travis Green and Israel and, and uh, Jonathan Butler. Yeah. Uh, tell, tell me about that experience. What was that like? It was awesome. You know, they wanted to do a big acoustic guitar revolution mm -hmm. <laughs> set. Yeah. And, uh, you know, those are all, you know, uh, great friends and, and mentors, big brothers of mine. Yeah. So, of course, it was an absolute honor to uh, be up there with them. And it was just one of those moments where after it was all over, we all looked at each other and said, wow, that, that turned out pretty good. You know, so I think, uh, you know, it's very cool to have a performance that you actually leave or uh, during it and right after. You're just like, I think, I think yeah. that was pretty good. So It seemed like a real defining moment, really. I mean, yeah, I, I think it, it, I think it really was. I mean, uh, especially when you look at Israel and, and Jonathan Butler, who have obviously made their mark. They've made a huge imprint on yeah. music in general, not mm -hmm. even just Christian music, but music, period. And me and Travis are kind of the little brothers, kind of yeah. the new kids on the block uh, coming up. And, I, and, and in a certain way, uh, we know that they support us and, you know, they are all for the baton passing or yeah. whatever you want to call it. Mm -hmm. um, uh, so we can carry this uh, music thing, this kingdom further. Yeah, yeah, nice. Another video of yours, uh, Not Lucky, I'm Loved. I loved the video, loved how you put it together. Thank you. Uh, tell, us, tell us about that one. Well, you know, that's a song, uh, it, was, it came from my most recent album, Make Room. Uh, I'm really excited about it. It was my first ever live album. Mm -hmm. You know, most of all of my other albums have been in the studio. Yeah. Uh, so this was one we actually performed in front of hundreds of folks for the first time and, mm -hmm. and then said, here's the record. <laughs> and so that was the first single. Uh, and it's, to me, a, a great kind of uh, 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 encapsulation, that's the only word I'm thinking of, mm -hmm. um, of just my entire career over the past seven years. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just, I don't know how this happened. You know, if you knew my story and just how, you know, I started off just writing songs in a dorm room, recording in a dorm room, uh, didn't have any commercial ambitions for it, uh, but God just put my name in the wind. Wow. And so sometimes when you get out here, you start trying to find things to explain mm -hmm. how you made it here. Yeah. And, you know, it's very easy to, to, to give luck some credit. But I had to say to myself and then, of course, to everybody listening, I don't need to be lucky. I'm not riding on the wings of luck, yeah. but I'm actually here because of the amazing love and, and, and uh, you know, plans mm -hmm. of God. Yeah. Tell us a little bit more about your another song of yours, Cycles. I'd love to hear cycles, about that. Cycles, yeah. Um, uh, you know, we did a whole Cycles challenge. You want to try it? <laughs> <laughs> it was on. It was online. Uh, you know, Instagram. It got it got really crazy. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's a run, and the song goes like. Ee! You got it. Uh, I'd better. <laughs> okay, forget it. All right. Okay. But no, um, you know, uh, it, it's the entire song is really just about some of the things that we probably think are just isolated incidents, isolated mistakes. But sometimes uh, some of the things that happen in our lives are cyclical. Yeah. And some of the mistakes that we make, we keep making the same one. Mm -hmm. the, the enemy doesn't even have to be incredibly creative with us because yeah. the same things work. 
Yeah. Uh, the same things bring us down. The same thing, uh, same things uh, depress us and oppress us and you know make us upset or make us fall. Mm -hmm. And so for me, it was very important for me to start pointing out, you know what, some of these things keep happening. Some of this stuff is not just an isolated incident. Some of this stuff is not just a new person. They might have a new name, but it's the same type of person. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, when you can, def you know, uh, you know, see those things in your life, then you can enlist God's support, yeah. uh, His help in helping you get through those things. You know, ending those cycles, mm -hmm. generational cycles, financial cycles. Um, uh, you know, cycles of depression, of loneliness. These are all things I've had to deal with, yeah. and uh, you know. Uh, Pray God every day that He helps me end some of those, you know, destructive cycles. Yeah, nice. Uh, tell us a story about the song Maintain, if you could. Maintain. Well, you know, so all of my music is, uh, you know, I call it life music because mm -hmm. it comes out of literally my life um, and just the ups and downs, the good, the bad, the ugly of being a Christian. Yeah. You know, I think when I first started, I was afraid because I felt like each song wasn't, it didn't wrap it all up in a nice little mm. bow all the time. Right. Sometimes it got into the, the nitty gritty of what it meant to be a Christian on earth. Mm -hmm. um, and so Maintain is definitely one of those songs that I think really uh, you know, aptly uh, characterized that entire season for me. Yeah. That you know, things were going well, right. things were going well, but you can kind of feel the shoe about to drop. You start mm -hmm. feeling the environment change. You start yeah. seeing things come around and you're like, Lord, okay, I know a storm is coming. Mm -hmm. It's not always going to be sunshiny. Yeah. Uh, but can you please help me maintain my peace, my sanity, my smile, my joy in the midst of this? Uh, you know, I'll need you more and more every day. As soon as I walk out of this door this morning, yeah. I'm going to need you more and more. So what's coming up for you? What's, what's ahead? A lot of things, man. So we just uh, released the album Make Room uh, this past March. Thank you for everybody that supported it. Uh, did, it's been doing amazing. So we have the opportunity to now put a deluxe album out. It's coming out in the fall. Uh, I'm also going to release a book called Make Room as well. Uh, kind of a companion piece. Uh, just kind of expounding on what it means to actually make room for God in your day and in your circle and in your environment. Uh, even in your ambitions and dreams. Uh, and then we have even a vinyl record. This is, it makes me feel weird because it's, it's basically like a greatest hits yeah. <laughs> so far. Right. And uh, I don't I don't feel old enough or good enough to have <laughs> one of those. But you know uh, you know that's what they wanted to do. Oh, cool. So we're gonna put out a, a vinyl life music collection, and uh, I'm really excited about all of it. Of course, the tour is coming out this fall, or coming this fall, and uh, it's gonna be a busy second half of 2018. But I'm excited about it. That's great. So we talked about life songs, and we also talked a little bit earlier about worship songs. Mm -hmm. Any of those worship songs on the horizon for you? I mean, yeah. You know what? We were just talking about, uh, me and, and one of my managers, we were just talking about a song uh, called Lover of My Soul that, you know, I can't wait to release. I mean, of course, it's already out. Some yeah. people are, you know, people that have had the album have already heard it. But uh, it's just a song, and I know that the bulk of my ministry is definitely at um, expressing the ups and downs of Christianity, making sure that we are poised and equipped to live a life mm -hmm. for God, not even worrying about the liturgical, the church, the ceremonial Sunday aspect of Christianity, mm -hmm. but the Monday through Saturday. Um, but this song, it got a little Sunday on it, you know what I'm saying? So it has, it has a little of that um, utility. And so I want to, you know, I can't wait to kind of release that, you know, maybe CCLI will see it a few times absolutely uh, and uh, you know it's called lover of my soul what I lack you are full of mm -hmm. where I'm broken you are whole and yeah. what I'm doubting you are sure of. you're sure of. yeah so I trust the lover lover of my soul oh can't wait yep. to hear it absolutely well speaking of Sunday any final thoughts at all for our worship leaders and worship teams out there in our CCLA churches I would just say be yourself you know I think uh, so much of of worship and you know even the way that it is the industry that has now you know attached itself to our worship you know sometimes it it causes a little bit of uh, uh, it, it kind of limits progress and mm -hmm. limits creativity right and uh, you know in an effort for unity sometimes we find uniformity mm -hmm. and so I just want to let everybody know that you are who you are by God's design and the things that, that pressure you, that break you, that make you upset, that make you smile, uh, the, the type of music that you like, even some of the weird music. You know, I, I like Backstreet Boys growing up. I'm not ashamed to say that. But, you know, you know, all that 
is is part of is a, is a part of who you are and what you are uh, built to release. You know, every tree stands just a little differently, uh, and so please be yourself, even as you sing uh, the amazing songs of our church that are being released every week. Yeah. Um, always try to maintain who you are, your testimony, because it is needed to reach somebody. Jonathan, this has been great. Thank, Thank you, you man. so much. I appreciate it. Uh, thanks for being here. God bless. Thanks for watching. Take care.